those of you who've been following me since, well, since at least May, um, know that I planted some very small tomato plants uh, in May. I got them at a plant sale. They were actually half price because they were only about that tall. They were about two inches at the time. Um, I figured, no problem, it's early in the growing season, it'll be fine. So, planted them, um, had four of them originally, lost one somewhere along the way, got three. Um, if you've seen any of the posts above about sandwich prep, um, I've done them about once a month, you know that the plants eventually got to be about five feet tall, still didn't produce any flowers or fruit. Well, they finally did. They finally produced um, flowers, they finally produced fruit, and finally, right now, I mean, if I go out there right now, which I'm not going to do because I'll get you dizzy moving the camera, um, if I go out there right now, I know that I have probably about a dozen, maybe 18 tomatoes growing out there. Everything from that big to one that is probably bigger than my fist, it's probably a good four to five inches across and three inches tall really a traditional beefsteak tomato. The problem is they're all green still. They, you can't see them compared to the leaves. Um, it's the middle of October and I still have bright green tomatoes out of my plant. Um, the nice thing is that it hasn't gotten really cold yet. It is dipping into the 40s at night so I'm gonna have to start paying attention to them. But um, in the meantime, I'm very excited to say that got a tomato off my plant this week. Um, it's nice, it's fresh, it's just got that little bit of a squeeze to it. Um, I'm, if I'm telling the truth, I had another one come off the plant uh, a couple weeks ago, had a little blemish on the bottom, and I was like, oh, that's okay, I'll just cut that off. Um, I got myself all set up to take photos and go through it all and cut into it and realized that it was bad. So that one went in the trash. Actually went into the compost, don't worry. Um, so this one, um, has no bad blemish. It's got marks all over it because it's homegrown. It doesn't look, I mean, the tomatoes you get in the grocery store that look perfect just aren't real. Um, I'm looking forward to this though. I'm going to cut into it. Um, I'm going to make a sandwich. I'm going to make what I think is a very traditional sandwich. It's fried egg and tomato on a toasted English muffin. Um, basically a tomato version of an English, or of an Egg McMuffin, sort of. Um, so just because I'll go ahead and take the photos along the way, you can see me at the bottom and I'll have a nice photo of this being used. And then I'm going to have the lunch that I've been waiting five months for. All right, see you in a bit. <laughs> 